Welcome everyone to famed Sanford City in between the hedges in Athens, Georgia. Home to the Bulldogs and 90,000 of their closest friends. Turn here from inside the 15-yard line. And they bring him down to the 32 after a solid return. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense will be the first up today. And Kirk, here comes the star tight end. There's so much emphasis in college football on using this position creatively. I mean, this guy's as good as any of them. Yeah, you nailed it, Chris. We've seen tight ends have a big impact in college football in the past, but what this guy is doing right now is unbelievable. Speed of a wide receiver, size and power of an offensive lineman. We're looking at a freak out there today. Here's the second down play. Tight end goes in motion. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. And they heave it deep downfield. Catch made down inside the 25. Touchdown, Dogs! Made the defense look slow that time. Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch that you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0 to open score. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. Not a long kick fielded inside the 25. They'll be tackled at the 27. That's where the drive will start. So the North Carolina Tar Heels offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. And how about the game within a game today? The running back coming downhill, the linebacker coming up to meet him. We expect some collisions on this field today. Yeah, this linebacker's going to have his hands full because this running back is a difficult guy to contain. Both guys know where each other's going to be lined up at all times. It's just going to come down to which guy can come up and make a play against the other. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Here early in the game, the defense right away realizes what they're up against. Having an opportunity to move this receiver around, to give him a chance to get out in space, are the plays that can really cause a defensive coordinator headaches. Back to pass. It's Johnson. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. I'll tell you what, man. This defensive speed is electric. Great job of running to the football. Nowhere to go at all after that. They call the draw play here. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. Well, the running back comes up a little bit short of the first down. Big decision here for this offense because they are down the touchdown here early in the game. They don't want to dig themselves too big of a potential hole. On the return, it's Evans. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here or the defense come up with a stop? Here's the handoff. Breaks loose at the 45. They bring him down, and that's a solid gain on the play. Chris, a really good job here by this back to be able to find that hole and pick up the yards for this first down. And boy, Georgia's had some good backs over the years, and this young man is living up to that tradition today. And at first down, they go right back to him. The junior able to bring him down quickly. The offense will line up, chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. 
caught over the middle. It's time. And they finally get him down, but a huge game to wrap up this first quarter. Well, Burke, it's Georgia on top so far. Let's check out the stats now through the open period. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. From the shotgun, here's an inside gift. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. On the ready. Come on, set. Go. Scanning the field, it's back. Looking for six. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. The offense clicking now for building the lead, and this one could get out of hand. Well, it's just complete domination. The offense is executing, doing their job, putting points on the board. The defense has shown up prepared, ready to play. It just feels like this game's getting sideways in a hurry. Now the all-important extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. It's a short kickoff fielded just inside the 30. He's tackled at the 34 after a decent kick return there. And the North Carolina offense is back out there on the field. Time is running out before halftime to cut into this now two-possession lead. And looking to throw now on first down. Looking for his big tight end. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, is unable to hold on to the football. <laughs> Cannot escape it. Down he goes. This is good pressure by the defense, and it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. The defense are going to keep the pressure up in this third down. Ball handed off. The defense stops in short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. And the Tar Heels will bring their punt team on the field now. They're going to kick it away for the second time. Finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. This will likely be the last play of the half. Let's go. Quarterback making adjustments now to what the defense is showing. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And he'll be brought down, and that will wrap up the first half of play. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, Ben. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Athens. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember.